guys welcome back to my channel it's so good to be with everybody i know it's been a little while since i've uploaded but today i'm going to bring to you guys a wonderful bronzy summery dewy get ready with me tutorial on how to create this very bronzy look so if you guys are interested in finding out how i created this look then please keep on watching in today's video, to achieve this bronzy, dewy, beautiful summer look, I'm going to try some new products as well as show you guys a couple of my tried and trues. So if you guys are really curious about how I created this look or how you can recreate it, then keep on watching. All right, so I've pinned my hair back with these 90s inspired pink clips. They're so cute. This is my favorite face, everybody. It survived quarantine. It survived all the bad choices of junk food that I've eaten in the middle of the night. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and get started on this beautiful, glowy, summer, bronzy goddess makeup. So a couple things that I do normally to prep my skin is I always go in with a moisturizer. This is the Proteiny Polypatide Cream from Drunk Elephant. This is one of my favorite products of all time. So I went already in with this to moisturize my face. It's got a great little pump. A summer must. I always protect my skin with SPF. If you've been on my channel, then you already know that I freaking love this Tatcha Silken Pore Perfecting Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 35. It's my actual go-to. You can see how much I've used it already at this point, but I've used a lot of it. So I squeeze the dime size amount in the palm of my hand. I'm gonna take that and just really press it into my skin. Something that I'm like really guilty of doing is like smushing and snagging my skin when I put on my moisturizer. So I've learned to just like do the pouting motions. It ages your skin less and I feel like it really gets the product right into my skin. So once you've gone in and moisturized your skin, go ahead and put that sunscreen on, just like so. The next thing I do for my bronzy, glowy skin is go in with a beautiful primer. Just go ahead and prime my face. I use the Lila Be A Glow Priming Oil. This is what it looks like. I love the luxurious packaging of the glass. So I go ahead and pump maybe one pump into my hand because I feel like a little goes a really, really long way. It's very oily. So it's interesting how this works because it smells delicious, but it's super, super hydrating and super glowy. So I go in right after my sunscreen with this product. There we are. So I've gone in and moisturized my face. Of course, put on my sunscreen and my priming oil. So my skin is prepped and ready to go. Today, I'm gonna go in with a summer favorite. I've reviewed this many a times and used it on my channel. So I'm just gonna go with this. It's my everyday super serum skin tint SPF 40 from Ilia. This is the shade ST12. I purchased a darker shade for the summertime because I noticed my skin, of course, is much darker. This is my tan shade and this is my natural skin color. So I'm sure you can see a little bit of a difference because I do actually sunscreen my face all the time. But of course, I'd rather have young looking skin than even skin tone. I don't mind just getting a shade that matches my skin better. So I'm taking a wet beauty sponge and going right into my skin. My skin's really gone through it. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the combination of just staying indoors all the time has been really drying on my skin. We've had the AC going on, which is really drying, and just like a combination of that and not getting a ton of sun, it's just done such a number of my skin, so it's not been the nicest of him being completely honest. I just love how gorgeous and dewy this skin tint is it's so beautiful it's very serum like like i've said before but it really does give my skin the glowiest complexion i definitely say it's more like a medium coverage but it is really really gorgeous really like it a lot i pretty much use this literally every single day so great for the summer i love the spf in it doubles it up for me and i love it that's what the product looks like on my skin next i'm gonna go in with my concealer so i have two concealers that i typically use in the summertime one is the ilia true skin serum concealer this is for spot concealing i like to use it on my skin this is the nutmeg shade it's finally matching my skin tone now so i like to spot conceal with it and get rid of any sort of pigmentation that i have on my skin and for my under eyes i like to go in with the hello fab bendy avocado concealer it is super hydrating it's 
super, super lovely. I haven't shown you guys this product on camera before, but I really like to go in with this right under my under eye because I feel like it's really hydrating and it doesn't cake up underneath there. It's just super, super dewy, so you'll see that. So first I'll go in with that under eye concealer. Grab my mirror here. Sorry guys, this is a little bit more of a casual get ready with me, so I'm getting ready right on my bed. I feel like I have not been sleeping a ton. My sleep schedule with quarantine has thrown me way off, so it's really, really sad, but I have really, really dark circles underneath my eyes. The reason why I really love this Hello Fat Bendy Avocado Concealer is because it does have a little bit more of like a peachy shift. I'm sure you can tell on camera, but because it has that peachy shift, it's great for canceling out that blue underneath my eyes. I'm gonna let that set for a little bit because the longer you let concealer sit on your skin, the better coverage it develops. It dries up a little bit and, and actually does better just concealing. This concealer is the Ilia one and it matches perfectly with my skin tone so I like to go in with it to correct those spots which are literally everywhere. I have like little miniature breakouts all over my face. All right, going in again with that same beauty blender, I'm just going to blend it all out. Bless concealer, literally what will we do without it? Glorious, looking covered, and now I'm gonna go in and blend out the concealer under my eyes. Now that it's set a little bit, it should give me a little bit more coverage. It's a perfect medium coverage, but it's super hydrating. Can you tell it's super dewy underneath there? It's so, so nice. It definitely cancels out the blue for me. And it's not super high coverage, so I feel like it doesn't look like fake. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like you can wear a really intense concealer underneath your eyes, but it can really make you look super cakey and almost too flawless and like unreal. So that's what the skin looks like. The glowiest, I like literally am so obsessed. And if you decide that you want to go ahead and powder to make your makeup last a little bit longer, this would be the next step. So this is the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder. I don't always use it. This is the setting powder that I used on my wedding day and it really made my makeup last and we did get married in June, so it was a really hot day. But I really actually in real life don't actually enjoy using powder every single day because I do find that it, though it makes my makeup last a little bit longer, it definitely makes it a little bit more cakey underneath the eyes. I actually don't typically use powder so I'm not gonna use it today, but if you are oily and you decide you wanna set your makeup totally fine, that's totally preference, I'm not gonna do it today just cause I'm just casually getting ready at home. Um, I'm gonna leave that step out, but that's totally up to you. So the next thing I'm gonna do now, now that my skin is tinted and covered up with my concealer, is go in with this new Cheek Stars palette from Benefit Cosmetics. It's such a cute uh, palette. I don't know if you guys have used their other products, but they do often come out every year with a all-star kind of palette that includes both blushes and bronzers. And this is the new release. It looks like this. It's such a cute packaging. Super metallic and cute. This is called the Cheek Stars Reunion Tour, and it comes with Georgia Sugar Bomb Cookie, which is a highlighter, Dallas, I think, which is a blush, and Hula, which is the classic bronzing shade. But these are, these are the shades that you see. Giant pans, I love them so much. The value of this is so, so nice because I feel like you're paying $60, but for full pan size blushes, which I feel like are about $30 each. So super cute. I really, really do love that it comes with all of these shades. This is that highlighting shade a cookie that I'm really excited to try. I've heard a lot of people say a lot of beautiful things. I really, really like palettes like this because I feel like it's a one and done and it's pretty easy to travel with. I've bought their other cheek palettes before, like the Cheek Parade. It's amazing. I've used it for years. So I'm definitely excited to see how these products perform. I feel like it's to perform beautifully as per usual. First off, I'm gonna go in with my Kabuki brush. This is the It Cosmetic Love Beauty Foley brush. And it's just this beautiful Kabuki brush that's kind of larger than life actually, but I really like it because I feel like it gives me an all over bronze, which is really what I like to go for. It's not super contoured or anything like that, but I really, really like that. So I'm gonna go in with that Hula shade right over here. And I'm gonna go in with it and just kind of I guess like dab it onto my face, focusing it right on my cheekbone, bringing it into my hairline for an all over glow. 
Isn't that so nice? I just love bronzing my skin. I like can't believe there was a time in my life where I did not carve out my cheeks. It's kind of crazy. I also feel like because this bronzer is more matte, it actually kind of helps set down what's what's been put on underneath as well. So I kind of haphazardly go in with this and bronze all over my face. So nice. Bring it over my nose, because that's where normally the sun would hit. And of course, bring it into my hairline. So beautiful. I love being so bronzed. Can you guys see on camera? I know I look a little bit shiny because my products are so dewy, but so gorgeous. I haven't used Hula in literally years, like the Hula bronzer. It's been a minute since I've picked up my Hula bronzer and I forget just how beautiful the shade is for my skin tone. I really, really like it. So this is what the skin is looking like right now. It's super, super dewy still, but I really like that that bronzer kind of gave me an all over bronze. Next, I'm gonna go into my blush brush. This is the Patrick Ta for face. Uh, brush number one and it's just kind of like a tapered dome shaped brush I'm gonna go in with a combination of the Dallas shade, which is a blush It's more of a mauve blush and then the Georgia peach one as well kind of go in between the two like so and I'm going to go ahead and focus the blush right on the apples of my cheeks and kind of bring it into my bronzer Oh, it smells really really nice actually Oh, it smells delicious. This palette smells so good That is so pretty. Can you guys see that? It's like the prettiest combination. I feel like it gives me this really nice neutral peachy glow and I really, really like that. These are matte formulas so there's no shimmer in them. Well, actually the Georgia has a little bit of shimmer so I feel like it continuously gives me a little bit of that glow even though it's a little bit more mattifying. Now normally you guys know that I love cream products and I've shown a lot of cream products on my channel but I've noticed that with the summer heat, I really do, if I want my glow and my color, my bronze to stay a little bit longer, I need to use powder products because it definitely does last a little bit longer. Using that over my nose, so pretty. And I'll take whatever's left of that blush and kind of add it to my forehead a little bit. Lightly dust it to tie it all in together. That is so pretty, you guys. I love that so far. And next I'm gonna go in with a highlighting brush and go into the shade Cookie, which is right over here. It's the highlighter in the palette. It looks so gorgeous. I've seen a lot of people review this and say it's literally so beautiful. So I'm gonna go in and, whoa, highlight. That is, wow. Oh my, that is uh, blinding. <laughs> Note to self, definitely use a very, very light hand. Wow, that is gorgeous, so beautiful. Here we go, guys. That's literally insane, that is so gorgeous. I don't think I've ever used a Benefit Cosmetics highlighter before, and it is seriously, so stunning, <gasps> gorgeous. I'm gonna take whatever's left on that brush and not dip anymore because I feel like it might be a little bit blinding for the nose, but take whatever's left and bring out the tip of my nose. So cute for a little bit of a button nose highlight. I'm actually gonna go in with my ring finger into the same cookie highlighter and just put it at the inner corners of my eyes to give me, wow, a glow. So gorgeous. So luminous, guys. Look at that highlight. So pretty. We're almost done, folks. We're almost done. I actually forgot my boy brow, so I'm gonna be right back and go get that. All right, guys, so the next product I'm gonna go in with is my boy brow. You guys know I'm obsessed with the Glossier boy brow. I use it in the shade brown. I do my brows off camera because I feel like it could be really boring, but let me know if you wanna know how I've achieved these thick brows with virtually no natural brows. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in, oh, without a mirror, I guess. That's a little dangerous. All right, so I'm gonna take the boy brow and go in on my brows and just comb that product through. 
to get a very feathery brow look. I can just hear my mom saying in my head, sit up, you have such poor posture. But this is a very casual get ready with me. Really cute, love the feathery brows. That's what it's looking like right now. Have you guys noticed that my lashes are back? I got lash extensions last week after the salons have opened up. And can I just say, it's like the happiest day of my life. I feel like I don't have to worry about strip lashes anymore. I've been putting on a strip lash pretty much every other day of quarantine for the last three months. So it's so nice to have them back. I like just feel like myself again, if that makes sense. So it's made my getting ready much, much easier because if I don't feel like putting on makeup, then I just have them on and I have my brows. They're such a game changer, I really love them. So those are the, what the brows look like. And I'm just gonna go ahead and brush up my lashes just so that they look extra feathery and fluffy, but yeah, I love them literally, literally so much, okay. All right, we are almost done, ladies and gents. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Lip Glow Oil from Dior. I've shown this shade on my channel before. I think I did it in a haul, but this is the Lip Glow Oil Color Reviver. It's a cherry oil from Dior, and I love this so much because it kind of gives me the most like beautiful, hydrated, glossy look. So I'm gonna just go right into it right over here. So gorgeous, it's so hydrating. I have a couple of these now in different shades. I just pop them into my pocketbook and it's so easy. I love how glowy and moisturized my lips feel afterwards and it's so easy. I don't like to wear a ton of lipstick because I feel like in the summertime I'm always sipping on a cold drink and I feel like it's a lot more maintenance to maintain a lipstick. So I like to wear glosses because I feel like it fades naturally and it's really easy to reapply. Now if you are more of like a lipstick wearer, I do like this one shade from Becca. They make really beautiful lipsticks in the shade of yours truly. It's this gorgeous like nude. So if I'm feeling like I want a little bit more coverage on my lips and I want a little bit more pigment for an evening or something like that, I'll go in with that and I'll go in with the Patrick Ta Lip Liner. This is in the shade She's Proud and I'll line my lips and go in with that lipstick or you can line your lips and go over it with a lip gloss. But for today, because it's a little bit more casual, I'll just go ahead and wear the lip oil. But it's so beautiful and so glowy. To finish off this look, I'm gonna go in with a Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. This is what the product looks like. If you remember, I did a giveaway a couple of videos ago. I gave away this beautiful fine mist and I then went and bought myself one because I was like, this is beautiful. It just smells like summertime. It legit smells like watermelons and it has like the most beautiful, like easy, fine setting mist. So I'm gonna go in with this all over my face. Mmm. So nice. It smells so good. I can go in with it literally all day, but there it is. My face is set and because I have powders on it, it should help me melt everything and make it look more cohesive. I'm gonna take the clips out of my hair. All right, you guys, this is the final look. I love how it came out. I'm literally obsessed with this palette. I feel like I've slept on the whole Benefit train and I feel like I've like forgotten how good their products are. I seriously really love this Cheek Star palette. And that highlighter, that cookie highlighter is to die for. It's definitely very finely milled and I think it reads really smoothly and beautifully on my skin somehow. So I really, really love it. Hopefully it sets really, really well, but I'm obsessed. So yeah, this is what it all looks like. I'll come a little bit closer to the camera. Such a bronzy, glowy look for the summertime. All right, you guys, hopefully you like this casual summer. Get ready with me for a bronzy goddess, golden dewy look. I am obsessed with it. I know it's a little bit more casual, but I truly, honestly, don't like to wear a ton of, ton of makeup in the summertime. Um, but I feel like this is a really easy get ready with me for the summer and I really love how it came out. It's so nice to be fresh faced. I love looking sun kissed. I love looking like I just came out of the beach and I'm just glowing. Yeah, I hope you guys love this tutorial. It was really, really fun to get ready with you guys. It's been a little bit since I've uploaded. I feel like it's really hard to 
pull away from making content and come back and feel like you have something to share with the YouTube community because I feel like everything and anything has been done already. So hopefully this is the content that you've been missing. I've loved making this video for you. It was really, really fun, really, really easy to get ready. I personally love how this look came out and I will definitely be wearing this look more often. It is so, so easy to do. You guys saw it took me like 20 minutes. Yeah, I love it. I love like how soft glam it is. Like it's truly like, not like a natural look if you will, but it's not also super dolled up either and cakey. I just really, really love how dewy and bronzy and glowy I look perfect for the summertime. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed this easy summer, bronzy, glowy, dewy, get ready with me. I really love making this video for you. It's really, really fun to get back in front of the camera. Please, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to my channel below and like it. Comment down below, sound off for the things that you really enjoy using for the summertime. Or if you have any questions about any of the products, please do ask. I love getting to review products. I love getting to create looks for you guys. It's so, so much fun. If I'm being completely honest, this was a really fun one to do and super easy, but yeah. There are over 500 of you beautiful people subscribed to this channel and I'm so, so thankful for the support. Just for the context, I just wanna let you guys know that I started off quarantine with 43 subscribers and now I think we're over 540 of you guys strong. So pretty much I've gained 500 followers of you guys over quarantine. Hey, if anything, some really good has come out of my time away. It's kind of strange to be back into the world. I've actually started going back to work, which is really crazy, but I really love getting to grow this family of mine here on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoy this channel. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys like more of these type of get ready with me makeup tutorials, please don't forget to let me know and leave a comment down below on what you'd like to see from me. But yeah, this is really, really fun. All right, you guys, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I'm gonna just take a mirror and I'm gonna go in with the boy brow. Ooh. Why am I weak? Ooh! Okay.